Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. I have another new video for you guys. It is going to be my top five under five, and then I have one that's like right on the mark. It's 550, but it's one of my favorite of all time. So I thought I would just kind of throw in a bonus item. I'll save that one to the very end. But if you want to see my top five under five, just keep watching. So one of my favorites is this by Wet n Wild. It is the Color Icon um, Bronzer in Reserve Your Cabana. I do not use this as a bronzer. I do use this as a highlight. It is such a pretty, very subtle highlight. It is so creamy, so pigmented. It is super gorgeous. I'll swatch it on the back of my hand. It just looks like that. It's just super subtle. I did swatch a little bit on there. That way you can definitely see that sheen, that highlight. It is gorgeous. I know a lot of YouTubers don't use this as a bronzer. They do use it as a highlight. So there it is in the pan. It is so beautiful. You get a large amount. And I believe this was only like $2.99 or $3.99. I'll leave all the prices and listing down below, but this is gorgeous. I definitely would recommend this. So another great item is by e.l.f. It is the High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder, which just looks like this. It is such a great translucent, translucent setting powder. It just looks like that so it is translucent and then when you rub it away it's no longer there so I do love using this underneath my eyes I do also use it to bake I just mainly bronze today did some blush and highlight and I kind of just threw this together I was supposed to be at work tonight but my car wouldn't start I don't have a ride because my best friend's not working tonight either so I had to stay home. I had to call in. So I thought I would just get ready and film. So I kind of threw this together. I'm trying out a new foundation and I don't really like it. It oxidizes, I feel like. So I don't know. I'm not feeling it, but I'll let you know in like products I regret buying. Things like that. But I definitely would recommend this. This is only three bucks. And it's great for baking and setting your under eye concealer as well. Two other products from e.l.f. These are the same products, but I wanted to show you both of them. Um, so these are the e.l.f. smudge bots. So these are kind of like the Maybelline color tattoos. So they're in pots and they're cream base. So I have, I have a few of these, but the two that I grabbed that are like my all time favorite is Ain't That Sweet and Cruising Chic. These are so pigmented, you can use these as a base. This one's kind of full because I ended up throwing some like extra in here so I could put a pigment in one of these jars. But I absolutely love this. Um, Cruising Chic is so pretty to use as a base or just by itself on the lid and blend it out. It is beyond beautiful and it's just like a I don't want to say like rich brown, but it's like a medium rich brown with like that metallic sheen to it. So it's so, so pretty. And the other smudge pot I had was Ain't That Sweet, which is just this pretty pink one. Let me see if I can get some product. I don't want to like dig my nail in there, but that's that. This one's kind of drying out on me. It's not as like rich in pigment as the other one. So I use this as a base if I'm trying to um, do like a metallic look. So that one is right there and it does like you have to blend it out. Otherwise it's really patchy but it just looks like that. It's the large one on the bottom. These are inexpensive again. I believe I said they're $3, but if not, they are $3. They're inexpensive and they are wonderful. So I have some Essence products. I kind of want to review all of my Essence products I have because some of them are fantastic. These are just like their single eyeshadows. I have four. I have this one in Rosy Happiness, which I'll swatch for you. So that's what it looks like in the pan. It's such a pretty rose shade and that's swatched right there. 
The next one is Keep Calm and Berry On, and it's just like a plum shade, and it's swatched right there. This one's my all-time favorite. It's all I need. And it's so pretty. So there it is swatched right there. It's like a sheen. Like it's a metallic taupey brown, I want to say. And that is it right there. I have two lip liners by Essence. I have more, but I kind of just wanted to share these ones. I have Wish Me a Rose and Cute Pink. These are so creamy and they are so pigmented. So there it is swatched straight there but watch do you see that it is so i broke the pencil but it is so pigmented it's so buttery smooth i love lining my lips with these and they're so inexpensive they're only a few dollars i think these are two dollars at the most so those are so creamy, so pigmented. Some are creamier than others, but um, other than that, I have I love them all around. So the last two products that I want to talk about are in the 550 range. So they're, they're just a little bit more expensive, but these are totally worth the price. Um, these are the Maybelline Creamy Matte um, Lipsticks, and these are the, I want to say the Nudes. Um, but I'll link it down below. I believe this one's in the nude collection. And this is Untouchable Taupe. And it is just a pretty brown nude. So this is one of my favorites. Um, I do like a few of the other ones in this line. So definitely check that out. And then this is Nude Nuance in the Creamy Mattes. And that's it right there. They're so creamy. They're so pigmented. They last a long time as well. They do like wear off in the center of your lips. I've found that happens with most lipsticks, but it is totally worth the $5.50. So that is everything that I love that's under $5 or my five under five. If you guys want me to keep doing this video, like it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.